basic stoichiometry problem is that we have two things reacting together and we want to find out how much of something else is going to be created. Or we want to find out um, the concentration of something given that we needed a certain amount to react with it. So I'm going to go through two problems here. One's going to be a, just a general um, concentration problem and the other one's going to be a limiting reagent problem. So the first thing we're going to look at is this problem here. Let's move it into the screen. 40 mils of 2 molar HCl is used to neutralise a 0.1 litre solution of sodium hydroxide. Find the concentration of the sodium hydroxide. So um, you've got first things first, an equation. So 1, we're going to write an equation. We've got hydrochloric acid, HCl, adding to the sodium hydroxide, forming something else. Well, as you know, this is going to form a salt, NaCl, plus water. Is it balanced? One, two hydrogens, yes. One, one, one here, one there, and one oxygen here, one oxygen here. So we're balanced, we've got an equation. Brilliant. You then need to find out, work out what you have. So we're going to write down that we have 40 mil of HCl, and it's 2 molar, so that's V equals 40 mil, and C equals 2 molar. We also have 0.1 litres of that, so, and we want to find what concentration this is. Yes, this is a basic stoichiometry problem. The first thing you need to do is find out number of moles of what you can. Now we've got two things here, so we can go number of moles is equal to C times V. All right. Now C is going to be 2 because it's 2 molar. Volume is going to be 0 0.04 because that's what the volume is. Here it's 40 mils. It needs to be in litres, so therefore we change it to 0 0.04. That comes out as being 0 0.08 mole, sorry, mole of hydrochloric acid. So that's how much mole we have of this. Now from this equation, what you can see is a mole ratio tells you you have hydrochloric acid over 1 equals sodium hydroxide over 1. So that means your number of moles of hydrochloric acid is going to be the same as your number of moles of, hydro of sodium hydroxide, so therefore 0 0.08 mole equals the number of moles of sodium hydroxide. Brilliant. We then put that into a new equation to work out the concentration of sodium hydroxide. So you go C equals N over V for our concentration, and that will be 0 0.08 divided by 0 0.1. Okay, because 0 0.1 is already in litres, so we didn't need to convert it at all. So that means our concentration is going to be 0 0.8 molar. And there's your answer. Okay, this is the following steps. One, equation. Two, is using a mole, finding a mole. Three, well we can look and see if we have a limiting reagent. We only have number of moles of one reactant, so therefore it's not going to be a limiting reagent. You go straight into the mole ratio. And five, you're doing it. Okay? Limiting reagent only occurs when you have, or when you are able to find the number of moles of both of these. If you can't find the number of moles of both reactants, you can't do limiting reagent, therefore you go and do a mole ratio. Okay? So, that's a basic stoic.